plastic surgery has been used to correct abnormalities that have existed from birth, such as cleft lip and palate, webbed fingers, as well as birthmarks. It can also be used to correct body areas damaged by the removal of cancerous tissues, such as from the face, breast, or feet. As we arrived at the Sajodam Surgery Center, this is what we found going on in the theater. Removal of a cancerous toe from a patient's feet, a procedure that went on for about 30 minutes. She had malignant melanoma, that is a type of uh, skin cancer involving a toe. So sometimes you are forced to remove that toe. But the, the, that is the easier part. Because after you remove that toe, then you have to reconstruct and give us something that resembles a toe. Later on, we met some of the patients whose faces have been brightened by the same procedure. But the difference is theirs had been long-time wounds, some of which had lasted for as long as 10 years. Ni kaanza kutibiwa hicho kidoda. Kiraka hiyo ikatolewa kwa hiyo mgu kwa idhai. Alafu ndiyo ikaenda ikafunikwa. Mungu ilikuwa imekaa na kidoda kwa miaka 13. Vins hazikuwa zina pereka damu vizuri. Ikasemekana mungu imeoza chini na imeoza juu. Kwa hivyo itakatoa. For this special patient, let's call her Lucy, not her real name. She has had a problem which denied her self-confidence and lowered her self-esteem from the time she became a teenager. Mine was not really a health problem. It was, I had this uh, condition called gigostomastia. It's a condition where you, you have excess uh, breast. I couldn't wear something that was tight because everyone was looking up to my boobs like, hey, they are like some people, especially at work, they used to comment, oh, you have big boobs, as if I don't know. The majority <coughs> of our we ladies have enlarged breasts which causes issues, neck pain, back pain. They can't exercise, they can't walk. So you have to reduce. When you do breast reduction with a lift, so that they can be able to, to do their normal activities. Plastic surgery, as explained by Dr. Martina Jujo, utilizes the body's natural fats, hence no chemical is involved whatsoever. Although, as you say, fat is gold, because you do for majority of these cases. For example, when, you, when you're doing, uh, when you, when you want to reverse aging, you're using other fillers, you harvest your fat, can be on your arms or your tummy, you process it into your gel, then that gel you inject certain volumes, a different part of your face, just to give you a youthful look. Dr. Adjujo takes us through different types of surgeries. Plastic surgery actually entails surgery from head to toe. Uh, for instance, for head, we do hair transplant, hair restoration, surgical and surgical uh, mm, procedures. When you come to face, there are many procedures you can do on your face. From your eyebrow, you do brow lift, you do Botox and fillers, we do reconstruction for eyelid, uh, eyelid surgery, blepharoplasty. Then you come to do facelift, which can be thread facelift or standard facelift. Or the fat that you've gotten from your lipo, you can add on your butt. Uh, majority of them, they just want either you add or you lift. Dr. John Buru, a trichologist, takes us through his area of specialization where he deals with diagnosis and treatment of diseases and disorders of the human hair and scalp as well as hair transplant. All of us were born with hair. We lose hair sometimes if you don't take good care of it. And you don't need to go out of your way just to maintain your hair. As long as you eat healthy and your body is good, and then you use good products on your hair, then you can have your hair. Don't disturb it. Now, a man, that is more genetic called. That is, hered it's caused by heredity factors. That's what you call male pattern. So actually what happens, normal hairs, they start shrinking. They start miniaturizing. They get smaller and smaller until they become invisible. And actually it happens only on the upper part. We reverse the process where we now start to lengthen the hair. Mm -hmm. And you do that by a process we call PRP. That is platelet rich plasma. Dr. Ajujo is optimistic that the law that supports organ transfer will be passed to enable them transfer organs to patients in need. Do we are thinking of doing a penal transplant? No, yeah, yeah. penal transplant. Thank you, David. you will do it maybe by next year. We are waiting for legislation and for donor. There's a, there's a patient who was attacked and now the penis was thrown in a toilet.
In the recent past, many have suffered from use of chemicals to make body changes, but this procedure is quite safe compared to the use of chemicals, which is dangerous to one's health. That's a big problem that we get because you find someone who has come, who has done, uh, use chemicals. So when you want to do this procedure, their skin is very thin and very, I mean, and even the healing would be a problem. So what we do actually is give them supplements to try and build back their skin. What I can say about the inc increment of the using the pill for me is not advisable, Kabisa. I like natural beauty, natural lips, natural boobs. Yani they, make, they make me feel good. Besides being used in the beauty industry, plastic surgery has placed a smile in the faces of many patients. But even as the petition of a body organ transfer is still in court, the Kenyan doctors and patients can only hope for the best as this procedure will help save many lives. Lydia Okeo, KU24.